Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you all? How are you doing? Well, I hope you are all fine and you are doing great. My dear kids, today we are going to learn chapter number 13 of your textbook that is about the plants and the environment. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the different topics like what is an environment and what is it made up of. We are also going to learn that how plants keep our environment green and what are the different ways by which we can save our trees and our foresters. Got it? These are the things which are we are going to learn in this chapter. So let's get started. My dear kids, as you all know that all the living beings all the non-living things they affect our life in one or the other way isn't it do you agree that all the living things and all the non-living things they affect our life in one or the other way like i will give an example we are the human beings and we depend upon the plants for our food we depend upon the animals for our food isn't it it means that animals and the plants they are the living beings and they are affecting our life we are dependent on them in the same way sun water air these are all the non-living things natural non-living things and we also depend upon them we need the light and the heat of the sun isn't it to carry our day-to-day -day activities for our survival we also need oxygen we also need water isn't it so these are the things which affect our lives so all the living things and all the non-living things that are present around us they affect our life in one or the other way and these living things and these non-living things they constitute our environment they constitute our environment they are the components of our environment all the living things and the all the non-living things now what is this environment 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 we can define as the surroundings or the conditions in which the animal or a plant or a person survives or lives environment environment we can define as the surroundings in or conditions in which a person animal or plant lives like like we live in a kind of environment where we are dependent upon all the living things and we are dependent upon all the non-living things also isn't it so our environment it constitutes of all the living and all the non-living things got it so what is an environment environment the surroundings or conditions in which a person animal or plant lives got it so my dear kids as you all know that to keep the environment healthy and to keep our lives healthy also plants they play an important role plants they play an important role they help us to keep our environment healthy in many ways there are lots of ways in which the plants they keep our environment healthy now what is the importance of the plants in keeping our environment healthy plants they help us to keep the air clean plants they also provide food and shelter to many animals they also protect the soil from erosion they also give shade isn't it and keep us cool and they also increase the rainfall this is the importance of the plants in our lives my dear kids plants as you all know that they are known as the primary producers they are known as the primary producers they can make their own food they are not dependent upon for their food on other animals like we are dependent upon the animals we are dependent upon the plants plants they are the producers they can produce they can make their own food they can make their own food this is one of the speciality of the plants this is one of the greatest uh, thing in plants that they can prepare their own food this is one of their efficient quality that they can make their own food got it their kids in preparation in preparation of the food plants they utilize the carbon dioxide of the environment and they release the oxygen 
in preparing their food for the preparation of their food plants they what they utilize the carbon dioxide of the environment and they give out oxygen in this way they help us to keep our environment clean in doing so in uh, preparing their food by the way what is that process known as by which the plants prepare their food can any one of you tell me yes yes very good excellent photosynthesis photosynthesis that is the process by which plants make their food and in making their food plants utilize what carbon dioxide sunlight water and chlorophyll that is already present in their leaves isn't it so my dear kids in prepare in preparing the food plants they utilize the carbon dioxide and they release oxygen they release oxygen for carrying out the process of photosynthesis plants they take up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and they give out oxygen thus they help in the supply of the fresh air that is they help in the supply of the oxygen and they reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the air they reduce the carbon dioxide in the air in this way they help to keep the environment clean in this way they help to keep the environment clean in this way they help to keep the air clean also the leaves of the plants they act as the filters they act as the filters and thus they keep the environment clean they keep the air clean got it got it very good now second point that uh, the plants they provide food and shelter to animals how as i told you that plants they are the primary producers they make their own food all the living beings all the humans and all the animals in fact birds and some of the insects they also and insects they also depend upon the directly or indirectly all the living beings they are dependent upon the plants for their food got it directly or indirectly all the plants and the animals they are dependent upon the all the living beings they are dependent upon the plant on the plants for their food as plants they are the primary producers plants they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis and we animals we humans we consume that food got it so plants they are the producers and they provide food and to the living beings also they provide shelter to animals many birds as you know that they make nests their nests on the trees on isn't it on the branches of the trees in this way they provide the shelter to many animals also some of the insects like uh, there are nitrogen fixing bacteria they live in the roots of the plants leguminous plants so it means that plants they also provide uh, shelter to some of the insects isn't it so plants provide food as well as shelter plants they also protect the soil erosion how the roots of the plants they hold the soil tightly they hold the soil tightly in this way when it rains the soil that does not erode plants roots they hold the soil firmly and thus they help in preventing the soil erosion got it so plants they also protect the soil from getting eroded from getting uh, from getting washed away from the by the rain got it so plants they also protect the soil from erosion as roots of the plants they hold the soil firmly so they help the soil from being eroded got it also plants they give a shade isn't it when it is uh, very hot during the summer days we prefer we like to live uh, to stay under the shade of the tree isn't it why to get in the air isn't it to get in the fresh air and to feel uh, the cool uh, air isn't it so plants they also provide a shade and help us to keep the keep us cool they absorb the sunlight they block the sunlight and they absorb the sun's heat so they keep us cool in hot days what it 
plants they also increase the rainfall how as you all know that plants they take in the water from the soil through their roots isn't it and when it is hot during the days or uh, summer days this water extra water that evaporates from the leaves of the plants so this water then that uh, rises up in the air to form the clouds and that later falls as the rain so in this way plants they also increase rainfall got it this was about the importance of the plants i hope you have understood it well isn't it so in the next video we are going to learn that how what we can save the trees and forests and what are the three r's got it these will be our topics for the next class so today i'll take your leave take good care of yourselves fiamanilla